What's up, Mad25 Gamers? In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at our base zone beater here. And the playbook we're in, remember, we are in the Miami Dolphins offensive playbook. We're actually using the Minnesota Vikings for it. I think they fit the uh, offense the best. And the wing trio week uh, is the play we're going to, uh, or the formation we're going to be looking at today. And the play is play actual wide receiver in. This is going to help us beat zone coverage in Mad25. Alright, so zone coverage is uh, always something a lot of a lot of people like to use to mix up with their man. Uh, so we need to be able to identify zone. A lot of times zone will have backed off corners. Uh, that's a lot of times what you'll see tendency for. And we have from our trio week some pretty basic plays. But uh, first things first, the draw. We're just going to use this when they're dropping players back. Uh, and again, the draw is actually not too bad this year. You know, it's not as good as it was last year in my opinion, but it is decent. It can get the job done and when they're dropping people back, be sure to call that draw and it's going to it's going to force them to have to bring at least four guys. So next thing I want to look at um, we'll look at the uh, slants play here and what we like to do with the slants play is we like to slant um, re-slant RB here Patterson and then we're just going to put the tight end on a flat route. And then we're going to make a curl flat concept to the left side of the screen. And we're going to be able to beat zone coverage through this. So if the right slot doesn't get pressed, then we're going to be able to hit circle. If he does get pressed, that's going to mean they're in a cover three. So we're going to take a look at that example here. And the cover three is going to mean we're going to be able to take advantage of the curl flat concept here. So cover three, and we're going to be able to hit the curl flat. So that's just a basic concept of zone beating I mean it's not really that you know you'll see this some um, obviously there's they'll make adjustments and stuff on it so you need to have different plays but if they don't get press and if and it's man coverage uh, real quick and this is why we want to have everybody out on a route so that they can't overplay anything but if it's man coverage you're gonna see RB should get wide open um, it's either RB or circle or excuse me RB or B uh, coming across the middle here, so that's how we like to read that. And then, lastly, uh, next play I want to look at is the four verticals. And uh, four verticals out of this, it's going to be able to really beat zone. We want to make a couple of adjustments to it just in case they're in man. Uh, we're going to put Jennings on a comeback route. We're going to work a curl flat concept to the left side of the screen here between Peterson and Simpson, and then we're going to use the other three, uh, the other two routes stock. So first read on this play is just if they aren't if they aren't covering the flats, hit Peterson. You know, there's no reason why you don't want to give the ball to the best running back in the game right now. So definitely try to get the ball in his hands as much as possible. If he is not open. Then you're going to look to Simpson just see if you can just continue to work that curl flat concept. A lot of times you'll be able to. A lot of times you'll, you know, it's, if it's not cover four, it's cover three. And if it's not cover three, it's it's cover four. But sometimes they'll go to cover two or cover two sink. And that's where, you know, obviously we want to use the uh, other t other couple of routes here. And that's why we, we use the four verticals to take the uh, top of the defense off. So against cover two, you're going to see um, RB is going to be open with a pass lead to the inside. You see it's going to be able to crush uh, cover two, and then if they are in a cover, um, if I are in a cover, I think they're in a cover four here. Uh, yeah, cover four, and say you don't say it's like a long yard situation, you can't take the flats. A should come open across the middle here, as you see, fastly to the inside, and should come across the middle uh, wide open. So that's the PA or the four verticals, and the last read on this play is just in case they call two men under. You always want to have a comeback or an out route just to be able to have a safety valve in case they're in man or zone. So there we go. That's the comeback. Moving on to the next play, we're going to look at PA wide receiver in. And all we want to do with this play is we just want to take Peterson here. We're going to put him on a wheel route, and then we're going to put Rudolph on a zig. And we're going to, this is the only play we're going to use motion here. Motion Peterson to the left, and you're going to snap right there before he sets. Your first read is going to be your zig route. If they are in uh, deep zone coverage, typically the zig route will be wide open. All right? And then if they are in, like if they're in a cover three. So here we're going to look and say, if they're in cover three here, this is where uh, this route to Peterson is going to shine. X uh, should be coming across the middle le on the left side there, wide open. His in route combined with Peterson's um, uh, wheel uh, is, is almost like a curl flat concept, but it's just a better version. Uh, it's more effective for beating man, in my opinion. And you're seeing here, uh, X is just going to be open right when he cuts to the inside. That's where you're going to hit him. Obviously, you want to glance to the wheel route. It's going to beat man coverage. Um, like I said, usually what I'll do is... 
I'll glance to the wheel while I'm looking at A, and if I see man, I'll just throw to the wheel, because you know uh, wheels are going to beat man. So that's just like a, what I, that's what I like to do there. But again, uh, if they're in maybe a cover two, and this is why I really like this play, if they're in a cover two, uh, you'll be able to just take the doors off the defense here. Watch R1. You're going to wait, 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 and then pass lead up, and you see it's going to crush cover two uh, over the top here because of that post right to Jennings. Now, if they're in a cover four, then obviously the wheel route to RB is not going to anymore. It's not going to. It's no longer going to be able to crush that deep blue. So now that's where Jennings' route comes in handy. Jennings' route with a pass lead to the inside is going to crush cover four simply because of the route combinations we did off of it. Okay, so that's the PA wide receiver end, guys. Uh, it actually does a pretty good job of beating maximum coverage defense as well. And real quick, I wanted to show you AP's route. It's just something uh, to mix in. This is just kind of a route to set up everything else. Uh, it's more or less a decoy. Uh, but if they are in two-man under um, and you get your snap count right, a lob pass lead up click on and just try to use or catch it that's actually pretty effective this year so be sure to check that out play with AP's route and it's also obviously if they're in a zone blitz or something trying to take away the in route we now have flat routes on both sides and I think flat routes on both sides are essential to beating zone coverage of Madden 25 thanks for watching today guys if you have any suggestions or have any questions or comments be sure to check out that comment session if you guys missed the previous two videos be sure to check out them in the description below and if you have any other questions or need anything from me, let me know, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Have a good day, guys. We'll see you later.